Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get Supercharged XP in the brand new Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. So I've been making Supercharged XP videos for the past two seasons, and it's actually not that much different from the previous seasons, but it actually is quite different in some ways as well. So before we show you guys how to do that, make sure you guys subscribe as we're on the road to 30k. We're only 900 subs away, so it really mean a lot if you guys would help us on our journey there, and make sure you guys leave a like as well. So daily quests have actually changed quite a lot this season, so what you want to do is go to the lobby, click on the new quests icon, and you'll see all of your XP quests and normal quests for the battle pass. So if you see the 10,000 XP quests that have a timer on them, um, these are the ones that you will want to be focusing on. So to get supercharged XP, you will have to not complete these, and if you do not complete them, it will give you the next day at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, or whenever this timer runs out, it will give you the exact amount of XP, slightly less than the exact amount of XP that you would have gained from these challenges, and just put it into your supercharged XP bar. And basically what you'll do is, right when this timer ends, and as you can see, mine's on 12 minutes, so right at 9 a.m., it will reset. So once these reset, you'll get a supercharged XP bar, and you'll also be able to get more XP for common tasks like searching chests, searching ammo boxes, and eliminating players, depending on how much supercharged XP that you have. So right now I'll be showing you guys an example when I land at Lazy Lake of how much XP you can get by just having the supercharged XP. So I'm going to land on a chest and we'll see how much XP I get. So this chest gave me 637 XP and this is about 200 XP more than you would normally get from a chest. And this is because I only left out one or two challenges to be completed. So there we go, I just leveled up by getting about 800 XP from just killing with single player. So if you get high elimination games, this can really help you out and help you reach that goal. So as you guys can see on the bottom of my screen, there's also a lightning bolt icon, which is basically where the supercharged XP ends. So long story short, it might just be better to complete your challenges instead of doing supercharged XP, but supercharged XP will be especially useful to people who don't have enough time to play Fortnite and complete all their quests in time, so they just rack up the supercharged XP. But one quick note is that you do have to log in every single day to actually get the credit for your supercharged XP. Otherwise, you will not have any new supercharged XP the next day. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. So that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another one.